Hey guys, it's RJ from Leftover Apple, and I wanted to just show you real briefly how to use GoodReader to import PDFs into iBooks, all completely done on your iPad. So not having to sync up to iTunes or necessarily have them on your computer at first, uh, this is going to be all done through the iPad from start to finish. So I'm going to go ahead and open Reader up. I have a saved article. Let me go into my saved articles here, and we can see that, I'll take a look at this article. Um, this is actually a great article from Freelance Folder, 10, uh, 10 plus great free books, my top picks for freelancers, so if you're a freelancer uh, of any sort, designer, developer, writer, anything like that. Um, hop over to freelancefolder.com and take a look at this because they got some good stuff so I'm just gonna scroll up here get to the list here and what I'm gonna do is find the book here seek and destroy so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here and that link brought me right to the PDF so uh, through the reader browser just like in Safari or anything else I could go through and I could uh, I could take a look at the PDF this way, um, but I want to go ahead and use GoodReader and get it imported directly into iBooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to copy the link. So that's the main thing. So regardless if you're using Safari um, or any other in-app browser, in this instance Reader, you want to make sure that you copy the link. That's the main thing. So I'm going to go ahead and exit Reader, and we're going to open up GoodReader. And GoodReader is a great app. Uh, it's pretty much uh, just a must-have for any iPad owner. It's a great uh, way to manage a bunch of different files that are not necessarily um, don't necessarily you know should be on the iPad. Uh, different extensions and stuff like that. You can manage different servers, your mobile me servers, FTP servers, and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, for this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the web download section. And then we're going to enter a URL, which is the one that we copied. So I'm just going to tap in here, select all, and then I'm going to paste the link. So now I have the link in, and I'm going to press OK. And you're going to see that GoodReader went out to the web, and it downloaded this uh, downloaded this PDF book, Seek and Destroy. So now what I want to do is I want to go to Manage Files. I want to select the book. And then I want to come in, oops, let's focus here, and I want to click Open In. Now over by the title of the book, it's going to give me uh, the different applications that can handle this type of file. You can see it's GoodReader and obviously iBooks, and iBooks is the one we want to use. So we're going to tap on iBooks. We're going to leave, for, we're going to leave GoodReader now, and then we're going to be brought to iBooks, and iBooks will automatically import this PDF into... Uh, from GoodReader into iBooks. So you can see now we have it and we can go through all of our different pages. And when we go back to our library, we can see the PDF right there. So that's how to use one app, GoodReader, to import any PDF from the web into iBooks all on your iPad, not having to connect to iTunes or your computer at all.